Welcome back everyone to the Two Headed Wall Gaming Channel and Laysara Summit Kingdom. And now that there's no more hand holding, it's time to get properly into the game and have the freedom to do whatever we want. These two leaves right here show us that this would be the, per the beginner maps, the more recommended maps for you to start out with and then jump into the others. And I think for a first trial, we're gonna go for Talent Top here. A good sized mountain with everything you'll need to, for establishing a proper settlement. I really want to build a large settlement and just see what everything that the game has to offer before getting a challenge. So vegetation zones, green zones limited, okay. Resource deposits, we have copper, rock crystals, salt and gold. We have wool painted cedar and incense as goods available to import. And we can export utensils, fodder, butter tea, and ornamented cedar. Okay, so we import painted cedar, then we turn it into ornamented cedar. Okay. Some rivers and their standard risk of avalanches. Let's see. What do we, this is difficulty level. We're going to go with balance for this first map. Veteran, efficiency and optimization are your favorite words. No margin for error. That sounds pretty good. Let's go for adept on this one. And I think I'm going to go on a higher difficulty on the next map. But this is the first one I'm getting into and that I've never played before. Ah, uh, this is some serious mountain we've got here. It's not just, it's not a home just yet, but surely we have all we need to establish a settlement. I don't know, there is not much land suitable for efficient farming. Oh come on, it's not like barely, barely won't grow a little higher. Have some faith. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it doesn't look like the worst place possible. Have some copper veins here, look at all this resource deposit. Hopefully we can run some decent manufacturing operations here. You know what, you're right, with a positive attitude we can definitely make it work. I wouldn't be so sure about that, but let's pause the game and just take a quick look around and see what we're working with. So here at the bottom we have two areas, two green areas. And so there's this one, there's one over here. I don't see any kind of resources, so maybe we won't need artisans early on. And I might leave spaces here for mostly low lowlanders, what they called? Lowlanders, yes. And then we get up here, and we have rock crystals, there's also copper on this side, there's not a lot of land to build on, do we have any other connection, okay so there is another path here, and I might actually start building on this side, because if we start settling a few lowlanders here, what I could do is that I could start building the artisan district over here at a cheaper price. The other path would be to start over here, but we would have to do a few more bridges, right? Get up here, then go over here, then go over here. Copper is required a lot earlier than some of these rock crystals. Another thing which I could do, another plan which I could have would be to to settle a few people here, make a trading district as well. There's also a little bit of space here. There's a copper deposit on this side as well. So I might be able to avoid this. Right, there's an avalanche here. This avalanche will go down the hill this way. This avalanche will definitely go down on this side. And you, we can see that here is the gray area or the more brownish area, low fertility. But there is gold veins on top. Quite a few at that. But I'm thinking an economy will be possible, like a really good economy will be possible and a very large city can we can build. On this side there is a bit more copper. A risk of avalanche, but there's a lot of space to expand. There are rivers here, and I'm not sure what we're doing with rivers, but since the game tells us where rivers are, I'm guessing that they will be providing us with certain bonuses, maybe certain buildings will be able to place on rivers. 
And there's a lot more space all around through here. And there's rock crystals, coppers. Okay, great. I don't know. I, I like how we're starting. I like the way this mountain looks. And I'm curious to see what's next. And is there anything that we can see in the distance? I was wondering earlier, and I'm not sure whether that is the case. I'm wondering if we are building, if we play the other scenarios, whether we can see some other cities in the distance. That would be awesome. Like we have in Sim City, for example, in Sim uh, City, the last Sim City, which came out, which you know wasn't perfect, but hey. okay. Well, I am going to start on that side right there. So I'll turn the camera, right click, I have to remember to right click, in it around, and I'm going to start here. But then we're going to go up here to copper and we'll develop the city a bit more. For roads first, let's do something like this. I'm going to leave some space, like one, two, three, about that much, and I'll do like this. Let us place down a marketplace first of all. If I have... Or maybe I should be placing some houses, right? So I'm thinking I go here to residential, we'll go and put down a few lowlanders. And I can do it... One, two, three. One, two, and three. I think I like this idea. Because we might get the most reach out of a praying shrine like this, right? Hitting all the houses? Yes. Just enough to hit all the houses. I will leave some space open here in order to be placing some other civic buildings. And we'll be making more people, we'll be bringing more people on this side as well. Three more houses. Good enough for now. Let's start bringing in a bunch of food. We'll start with one egg farm. It's giving us some objectives as well, which is nice. Have eight lowlander huts. I guess this is what we need to do in order to win the mission. Have eight lowlanders huts on level two. Okay. Let me put down some praying shrines. We really need to figure out how to make money. And quick. A meal. Just on this occasion. I could even put it on this side. Let me put a row like so. So that I can move this up here. Then I can have the meal and the fills going downwards. Yeah, like that. Let's see. Two of these feet. Perfect. We can have two fields filling this area at the moment. There it is. We need a bunch of yaks as well. Which buildings consume yaks? Oh, it is the mill. Does it say here? Missing Warforce penalty is 60. So sometimes you might be able or you might want to do the math. If it's 60, the upkeep for Yaks is minus 17. Given that we don't have a whole lot of green areas, we might want to keep the space open for Yaks instead of anything else. Right? We, we need to think of fertility and what makes the most sense. What do people want? Utensils, so now we have one more slot open for any category and we can either bring cheese uh, To fulfill people's need or we might want to bring utensils or we might want to bring something else Okay We don't have a lot of cash at the moment. I wouldn't want to go too far in buildings So let's connect to the upper area, right? 
Now, let's put down a tax collector if we can first. Mr. Plow, use when planning has failed. Clears building within range of avalanche snow. Ah, okay. So you need someone to clean the avalanche. What do we need for cheese? We need a yak shack. It's producing the most milk on the Greenland. And it's producing the most wool in higher places. Okay, an avalanche has happened. I see. It's going towards the area where... If, if we put down two of those woodcutters here, we should be protected. That's what it seems like. But we don't need a lot of foresters for that. The Yakshak produces more wool at high levels and more milk at lower levels. Then we turn six milk and through six cheeses. If we have two of these down, we can actually provide enough milk for six or three cheese makers. Okay. Commodity, no better place to get some high quality goods. Literally, there is no other place. Okay, and what is this? Baths. The emergence of baths is a direct result of yaks protesting the smell of their caretakers. It needs a river nearby in order to make this happen. But in order to bring those high level houses, we will need this. What do we need for taxes? Look this, Compact Yak Breeder, Yak Utopia, Herbalist, everyone can grow herbs, but monks seem to see something more in it, okay, more leaf fields, not sure I fully understand that menu, but what else do we have, we have some research here, we have monasteries, Ah, it's more of a menu and it shows you either buildings which are available, some instant production. Ah, no, it's just different menus with different buildings for different things. Still trying to get used to this menu. Donation spot? Yeah, let's put one of these down. What is the upkeep for this? 43? We have 6, 11 houses. Oh, no. Nine houses. Is the tax collector worth for these many houses if they're not upgraded? Time to answer that question. Yes, a little bit. So we're getting 31 extra gold from having this. Every lowlander and monk donate two gold. Every artisan donates free gold. Good to know. Far as resources go, I don't think there's anything else here that we need to produce at the moment. We need to move on to higher levels. And we're gonna go like... So, time to connect it by a road. Then over on this side, oh, there's, there's a river here, which means that we can place a few baths here, which means that having artisan houses on this side is better. We'll need to put the market as far from this area as possible. Or that sounds like a good idea. I shouldn't be pausing the game too much as we're getting more coins in our treasury if we let time fly. Okay, let's see, let's do a bit of planning. So if I put down artisan houses, let's take a look at the bath. How big is it? Okay. It occupies a lot of spaces here. That we need one, two, three, four, five. Let's say there's a road here. And I'll put a market there. Okay, we need more lowlanders. We might even want to upgrade their houses further. 
But to begin with, until we get some utensils. I will put down two more houses like this. Then I really need to figure out how to distribute utensils or cheese. Should I be doing cheese instead? What do the artisans want? If I place artisan... A few artisan houses here. One, two, let's say a shrine there and two more. And I'll draw a road through here. And we'll draw a road through here as well. Actually, on this side, I said that I want to put down a praying shrine, right? This is where we start from. Good. They need eggs, they do need cheese, they need some baths, and they need utensils. So, before that, snow is gathering and we'll never know when we get the next avalanche. There's not a high upkeep for these foresters. That's why I'm thinking, like, we'll place down a few over here. Like so. Then I can have down one of these storages. Do I need research for it? Let's see. So I am looking at probably cheese. Putting down some of these farms over here. Then we'll have a transporter. Which brings cheeses up here. Which in turn takes it back down to a market. The two markets. That might have to be the way to go. But for this, we require research level 1. They require eggs and they require cheese a lot earlier. But they won't be upgrading their houses until we fully fulfill these needs. Which means... That starting a cheese production over here is the way to go. As I said, if I make two of these... Two yak shacks will be able to provide enough resources for free cheese makers. And we will need to have one of these carrier posts as well. If I put it here, yeah, it doesn't have the range to do much, so I could probably make a cheese maker over here, but it still wouldn't be enough to. Or. You know what, I think I'm going to try it. Although this one won't be able to reach the market, but, but we don't need the market necessarily because we can supply it directly. So many decisions. I guess, I guess I'm not going to complicate it. I'll put this one here. Uh, we're going to go to cheese makers and we'll start, we'll start low until we get a few more people and a few extra points. The cheese maker. And we'll have this one here. And we'll have go over here. Roll one like that. Send it. Send the goods over here. Even the wool. Can't send wool here. The building is already storing meal. Okay, so we can do one for each type of good. Got it. And now we're sending milk over here. And then we're just gonna send cheese on this side. And now we can upgrade houses. Great. Okay, we're at minus 52 there. But mostly because we're also short on people. So we're paying a high price for it. Okay, mm, I see no reason why I wouldn't want to upgrade this to further levels. It does tell us how much we need, but 
against how much we're supplying. I like this. We will need more eggs soon. A lot of copper can be found around here. We should take advantage of that. Copper is such a fine mineral. When you touch it, it feels cold. This means it drains temperature from your body very quickly. I wonder if in the future it may be used for sending warmth, or maybe even other kinds of energy, on long distances. What on earth are you talking about? It's man it, I meant it's good for producing kitchenware. Ah yes, no need to get ahead of ourselves, all in good time. Provide 80 citizens with utensils. Yeah, let, let me rebind that middle mouse button. Uh, keep binding, where is it? Toggle overview camera. Mm, I think I'm gonna put it on an R. That should give me a bit more control rather than constantly pressing the middle mouse button. On this side, what do they need? They need eggs, they need cheese, they need baths. Does it say, it doesn't say anywhere where, how much, actually no, it said that we're getting free gold per each of these artisans, right? So that's 12 gold per house. So it's 72 if we place it down, that's still worth it. Yeah. Actually is. Okay, we're short on artisans. Which means we'll have to place down a few more buildings. More of these houses. This situation, do I want to leave? I think I want to build it mirror-like. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We need a few more yaks. And I guess I will build another one of this. Holding down shift, the shift key means that you can copy buildings, which is really nice. And we can even combine it. Look at that. It doesn't either... Doesn't it need access to road or is it because this road right here? I'll make a thing just to test it out. So I'll destroy this road. And no, it actually combined with this one. So it doesn't need more access to the road. That's cool. Once again, it's like this small quality of life features. Which you wouldn't really think that they make much of a difference. But they actually do. Okay. Next, let's start building a copper mine. I'll actually start by building this one. Sure. We'll do it like that. And I'll draw a road here. I am going to have... Oh, you know what I've been thinking. We can have these small carrier posts for the small production chains that we need. And we can take finished goods and put in one of these posts, in this cart post. And send those goods further away. That's what we want, on most occasions. Good. So, now, what is the desire? It doesn't... not receiving any foods and resources here. So it doesn't really say anything about the consumption of utensils at this moment. We are gonna try to... to sell first of all, we're gonna be putting down the commodity supplier. Locking the area for placing down a copper mine, but we might change, move the tax collector or the donation spot later on. For the moment, we need to be producing utensils. Okay. okay. This spreads goods around, we don't need it for the market. We have a 2.5 consumption, that is fine. And then we need eggs and we need cheese. And we need baths. So we'll do eggs first. I wouldn't really care to build it down here or to transport eggs. I don't feel like the maintenance is worth 
actually building one of these cars. This has four maintenance. This building would require a 17 maintenance, so overall, I don't think it matters. Plus, the egg production is not that amazing, it's not at a high level where I would consider necessary to transport goods over land. So, where are we at? 4 out of 4. Mm, I guess I could throw in another one of these buildings. We will need more artisan. We will need cheese as well. Can it reach anything? It can reach barely over here. But I don't think I can place a building there. Nope. But let me try it. So if I put down one of these buildings here and I move this one over here. Would I be able to supply this one? No. It does not. Okay. Well, now we know. So, with that in mind... We are going to be building ourselves a separate cheese maker or a separate yak shack for the milk. I'll place this one over here and we'll be placing the food yak shack over here. You take goods there, you take goods here in the market. Good. Two, two. Can I stop? What is this? Disable building. Okay, let's disable it because production is too high for this area. We, we're losing money. We need more yaks. A lot more yaks. Uh, let's see. Leave some space for barley. Which is like a free. Then put this together. We need a few more artisans. But for that we need some baths. Let's put down some baths. That would allow us to upgrade the buildings. And I think that is great. Awesome. And look at our money go. What is the next thing which we would like? It's probably monks. That is the next cast which we should bring in. I can hear an avalanche happening somewhere. Oh, it's over on that side. If I go on this direction, we would be able to get some rock crystals. What could we do with rock crystals? Let's see, do we have here? Perfume ornaments, ornaments maybe? Copper mine, gold mine, charcoal pile? No. Rock Crystal Mine, okay, it requires lowlanders and a bunch of yaks. I will pause because we're we're at maximum treasury, meaning that we're not getting any extra money at the moment. Provide oh let's follow the missions. Yeah, let's do that. So provide 80 citizens with utensils, meaning that I need to build one more of this. Or even maybe even bring in more people. Yeah, we need to bring the utensils, we need to bring in the people to consume it. Let's upgrade these buildings. There it is. Another mission has been completed. Provide 60 monks with access to scholarships. And thus, our mission begins to whether we want to build up here 
where the gold is. And would we be able to do that? So if I wanted to build up here, yeah, we could actually do it. However, fertility is fairly low. And thus providing monks with food there is not necessarily the best way forward. Here it would be a lot cheaper, although we would have to protect ourselves from avalanche and I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna fall. If I had to look, it's probably going to go down here, through this middle area. Which is exactly in the middle of everything. But let's work on it. So I'm gonna put a bridge over here. It did require three. Yes. About... Spaces, if not more. Let's see, I'll do one, two, three. And I think I'll leave it at that. We need more lowlanders. Which also makes me think... That it would, it, will be, it would be great if we could bring on some utensils on this side. But we need the research for it. So we'll stay on shortage for lowlanders there. And let's focus on the monks to bring that extra research in. For that we need 48 monks in total. Each one of these houses provides us with 4 monks. How do we want to do it? Are we going to build it in the same manner as this area here? Like have a market somewhere in the middle? Having this monastery somewhere in the middle would also help a lot. It doesn't have like this huge range. So market first. I'll do it like this. And then we'll have the monastery right here. It's the same size as the market. So we'll leave some space there. But this is how it will go. And let's see. Twelve houses. How do we build twelve houses in a way that makes the most sense from an efficiency point of view? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's see. If I do something like this. Did I misplaced a few houses? Yeah. But at least we can easily correct them. And I'm going to do a row like this. I'm going to connect this area with another row so that when we're putting the spring shrines it can reach we'll have another one over here connected once again by a road and at this moment what I guess we'll just put down the academy money balance turn negative we still have a bit of coin in our treasury which is good And we did gain research level 1, which allows us to throw down one of these. Where was it? Where was it? Distribution, a card post. I am going to put the card post here. I will want one of these coppersmiths to be producing goods. Or here, not in range. Okay, if I put it closely like this, okay, it's still in range, this is still in range, and this I want to transport to the market. Not the commodity supplier, goods can only be, oh, okay, so we're putting down a commodity supplier, and we're getting this, we're starting to understand it. Yeah, the commodity supplier, we can have it over here. 
and you transport goods to it. Nice. This fulfills another one of their needs. And next will be honey, ale, decorations, and mandala. House needs to be in range of a service providing facility. Okay. Interesting. So, what next? Well, pretty much putting down a bunch of normal houses here. We will need a few more eggs. They are not in range of a praying shrine, so we'll need to place down one over here. I'll put the road just to... Actually, it didn't really matter too much. But we'll upgrade these houses so we can get a few more lowlanders. And we might have to build another district somewhere else. We need a few more artisans as well. And then a bunch of yaks. Good, let's restart this building. Great. Next, 60 monks. They require a lot of food here, but you know what? I should be getting some of the money back as well through donations. I haven't done so far. We can cover most houses and we will do that. We're starting to lose a lot of money, so probably... Let's see, how much is for the yaks? 210, so yaks are very expensive. I'm wondering, should I get a few more here? Might be the best, or the most efficient. Not a whole lot of space for more. I'm thinking that this area might actually be better for some other chain of production, maybe even a trading center. We haven't figured out yet what we can trade. Did it say here a map info? Let's see. Available to export. Utensils. We can export utensils. Which means that I can start a higher production chain. And make a trading center. Trading post requires research level 2. I could make right now. Do I want to upgrade this further? Not yet. I'll leave this area open for a trading of utensils. And on this side... I think I can connect. I think that if I connect this road... And it's just an idea, we're gonna try it out. So if I connect this road like so... And I put down a few yak farms here, they should still be okay. Yes. Okay. Well, there it is. I could of course start a new production chain over here. We need a few more lowlanders. And that is not a bad idea. If I have a road here, two houses, another road. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like this. Then we'll throw in the lowland huts. What are these? What does it say? On this research level, people require higher satisfaction. Ah, okay. So this, as your society advances, people will be a bit more pretentious about upgrading their houses in certain areas. Huh? Satisfaction is too low. And they won't really... They are not paying any kind of taxes, right? Interesting. 
I like the complexity. Bunu... Let's see, I'll put another house here. Then we're gonna go with a shrine. Okay. So that shrine is good enough to begin with for people to be happy. They need at least one mid from the lowlanders to be okay. Not necessarily satisfied, but good enough for, for the start. I put a road here and I do another one of these. Doesn't cover everyone. Yeah, okay, so it's four houses in total that this one can cover. Meaning that I might want to do something like this, and this, and draw a road. Does this not have coverage? It does not. Okay. Now, we have a place where we can grow a few more yaks. We have a place where we can get a few more lowlanders. We'll be able to even connect it later on and connect it to this rock crystal deposit. But for now, let's get the 16 monks necessary. Just for a bit of symmetry, I guess I'll put a road here as well. And I think we need a few more houses. But for that I might even need another print shrine. Or, let's see, does this reach? Yes, it reaches if I build the houses here. We'll do this. There we go, we have 60 monks. I know we don't have much fertile land here, but I just wonder. Oh, you are thinking about using barley for something other than flour? Yes, we could brew a little something, you know, to help keep spirits high. We definitely can. Cold foamy liquid gold, perfect after a hard day of labor. Or just to make everything feel easy for a moment, to forget the important stuff for a second. Huh. No idea what you folks are talking about. Provide a hundred citizens with access to ale. They would like ale, the artisan would like ale, the monks don't require ale, but they would like utensils. The lowlanders would like ale as well. So when I'm looking at this, I am thinking that it's easily made from barley and it requires artisans, right? We need charcoal, turn the wood into charcoal, then we'll have barley, then we'll have the brewery, and then we we put an inn down for people. Okay. We have some money in the treasury, so I wouldn't necessarily worry too much for now. We can start expanding. I would like to put down a road though. Where is the avalanche happening? Not on our side. If I'm looking at the tavern here, or the inn, okay. I think that if I put down a rule like this and put the inn here, Yes, we are actually covering everybody. I'll do this first. Then I'm gonna put a charcoal. On this side, because I can break the wood and bring it here. It requires roads. Good. 
Now let's see. I provide this, we'll have six charcoal in total. And then we'll need to go here. Say that we want to build a brewery, which is a very large building. What if I put a road? I'm going to leave these spaces here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect this to this. We can make more cheese makers there. I can put a brewery down somewhere over here. Let's see. Can I reach? Yes. And then we can have ourselves a few barley farms. I could have it even in this area. It would look cool. However, I might want to place down a few other buildings later on. And, and then what? It's one of those things. Okay, the farms don't seem to be requiring a road. Now with this beer, we'll send it over here. What's the consumption of... Okay, we just need an extra house here to be... ending this. We need 24 artisans. And we need a bunch of goods going forward. Hmm. I'm thinking just placing down other artisan houses might be the best choice. Yeah, have something like this. And with a few more upgrades, we're good. Now I need another cheese maker. Yak Shack Cheesemaker, then provide people with that. Oh, this ale tastes great. Oh, damn. My head is killing me. I don't feel so good either. And I don't really remember what happened just before we left the aim. Moo, moo, moo. I did what? Oh, the youth of today. Okay. Apparently, we satisfied that need for baths. Have 10 monk dormitories on level 2. That is our next goal. Monk dormitory is on level 2. For this, we need to fulfill two more food needs and two more enlightenment needs. Now, we can give them all of these. However, it's not going to add to the progress, it seems. Fill the bar. Okay, so fill the bar with fulfilled needs to make their folks living here willing to upgrade their house. Still required of value. Food 2, Enlightenment 2, any category minus 1. One need can have a value of 1 or 2. Okay. Resident number after upgrades. Tampa could be good. We could provide cheese as well. Or we could start producing some honey. Utensils are close by. But we wouldn't need it. Probably Enlightenment is better than anything else. This is the Mandala. How much money do we have in the treasury? Oh, we're going the right way there. Perfect. Academy, monastery. Such large buildings. Yeah, we might need to start expanding towards the other side where there was a lot more space. A monastery wall. Okay, they can fulfill this need. But I guess they need... Oh no, some of them already have scholarship fulfilled. And some of them are also in the, in the range of baths. Okay. Can I be placing another one over here? I can. And it will actually reach most of the people. Oh, 
Oh, how do I want to approach this? I bring another copper mine here. I don't think it would necessarily be a bad idea. Let's see. Oh, I can place some mine here, I'm thinking. Then I can place this one over here. And if I am right, and I'm trying to figure out if I am, if I put a carrier post somewhere here, then I could have the copper mine transport over here. Right, we're doing this. And from here we should be able to reach that. And I'm not sure if transports over bridges or we need one of these trading discard posts. But being on the same level, I'm wondering if that is not the case. And I would love if that was not the case, but you never know with this, right? We'll put this. And it actually did work. So now we're producing utensils. And we can put down one of these commodity suppliers. Which in turn does not reach everybody. But at least it helps us get closer to providing any of our people with what they need in order to upgrade. Okay. Cheesemakers. Tampa. Tampa seems like it's easier to produce. If we, we get the meal. Then with, even with one barley fill I believe to begin with. It might be good. Nope. No, we need a lot more. Hmm. Not the highest level of utility. So maybe... Yeah, you know what? This is not gonna work. Let's get the highest efficiency by going for honey. Yeah, that's five honey right there. How much do we need? With two of them, we have fulfilled our need for honey. However, Tampa... Ah, I see. So, see how large the icons are? That means that if we provide people with Tampa, it's actually fulfilling two of these slots. And honey is just one slot, or decoration is just one slot. High zones. Interesting, interesting. I like the system. Two roads since... What do we do with roads? Decent type of road allowing the faster movement which also increases building ranges. The most advanced type of road increases carrier movement speed and building ranges twice as much as stamped road. That is the solution long term. Okay, we're losing a lot of money over here. Uh, we need yaks, uh, we need artisans and we need lowlanders. Well, let's start with lowlanders and yaks. One, two. That covers X, the most expensive. And then we need a bunch of lowlanders. Okay. Um, I guess I could place a few more. I'm thinking that I'll place a road here, so we'll do something like this. there let's put it over here so that it reaches everybody yeah Good. and now we need a few more artisans a really nice balancing game of goods and resources i'm gonna place two houses here let's see i upgrade them great we're still nice and stable we need something for the monks a type of good. I could make the cheese. How are we on cash? We're at a thousand. Okay, we'll need to pay to be a bit patient going forward. 
but for now we'll have a cheesemaker here and the yak shack there good which will allow us to have 10 monk dormitories maybe not yet or no actually i believe we have just enough so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and look at that Look at this. Can you imagine as we're gonna expand even more and get to the top? That is gonna be a really cool view. Okay. Now we should take full advantage of a monk's potential. Yes, we should start mass producing of sacred artifacts and make tons of profit from selling them. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, you said it first, taking advantage of a monk's potential. I meant the spiritual potential for enlightened minds. We need more places where they can meditate and pray in peace. So research level 3. Citizens living in houses in range have access to this building. Academy increases research level by 1. Okay, we need a few more yaks, so... Since we're starting to lose money again, I'll place another yak farm over here. And what do we need to get to the next level of enlightenment? So that's one research, this one, monastery. In the privacy of the monastery, monks delve in the into the nature of the universe. For some reason, they need pieces of painted wood to do this. But it's going to give us three points of research. There's nothing else there that like, we could place two more academies. However, 48 monks and 85 upkeep is quite high. And this one is even more, 59 monks and 128 upkeep. But what do we need? Uses painted cedar to increase research level by three and provides scholarship to houses and range. So one of the things which we might want to do here we could even create cedar. So have an herbalist produce herbs here. Then we create a cedar grove. We have plenty of monks, at least that is good. Rock crystal mines, which are on this side. And then we do a dye production which also requires herbs. Oh, both of these are required for dye production. And then we'll combine it in order to make cedar painter. And then we put down a monastery. Okay. Well, we know where we're going. It's time to be placing a few bridges. From here to here. And I guess we could connect this area as well. I don't know if it really makes any sense to do so. But in order to make it cool, we're going to do this. Then over on this side, let's see. If I was to be placing down a monastery here. It would reach a few houses. It seems like it's overlapping as well. I guess it's overlapping, yes, because it's providing the same stuff, or the same need. But we don't need to be in range. It requires 59 workforce, but it doesn't really require for us to be in range. It's providing us the service of science or thinking or whatever research they're doing there. And that means that we can maximize the potential for it if we place a bunch of monk houses in around it, but it doesn't need to be. So with that in mind, okay, we need to place road this way. Let's see. Okay. The avalanche didn't destroy anything. We've done well. For now, let's place these roads like so. Okay. 
Is that enough for a monastery? Yeah, we can even go one further. Good. I'll connect it over here. And now we need to figure out how to start producing some of these. The rock mines, first things first, lowlanders I'm guessing, yes. Build this one over here, good. And then I need a few of this. And then a dye producer here. Is that dark grove? And we'll build another road here. So, you go over here. You go over here. Now we have dyes and we have some cedar. And then we can go ahead and place ourselves a cedar painter. Here. Let's see, we need another row, like so, and this should put it in range, yep, great, there we have. We need another setter painter, no, we need more setter, so we'll place another one of these buildings, we'll connect it here, and now we are at four painted setter, we're gonna place another house there, actually we will need two, good. We need a few more yaks. We'll place a few more houses. And at this moment, I think I think we're just going to go this way. But we will need even more. Still, I think it's a good start. So, 4 out of 6. But it needs to be operational to increase research and grants to scholarship. So we need another painted setter. We need to double this. And then we need to have 59 monks. Well, in preparation for that... We're gonna have to continue to develop some of these areas. But this is going to have to be it for this part. I'm going to put a cut in here just because I've reached the hour mark. Which is really cool, but uh, I really need to take a break now. And I will return and we will continue this going forward. Hopefully you're looking forward to it. I'll, that will happen tomorrow. I'll bring two more episodes tomorrow. Uh, why not? It feels like it's there's definitely a lot of experience. And I love it. It's not a short mission where you get bored quickly. And that is everything that there is to be played in early access. Nope. It's more impressive than that. This game has a lot to offer. And I'm hoping that you're going to pick it up and try it for yourself. If you want to see more, join me tomorrow in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. And I wish you all to have a wonderful day.